It's only him that can help us. Thank you, Jesus, for being there for us in Jesus' name. Time for praise and worship. Can all of us meet our mark? Anywhere you are, can you stand up and reference God and dance to the glory of God and you'll be blessed in Jesus' name? Amen. Um, Father, I bless you. I give you this. Come and wear the garment of praise and worship. And all glory, honor, it be unto your holy name forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we bless you, Lord, we bless you. 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 Father, 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 
You deserve the glory. Yes, Lord. And the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your whole holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your whole holy name. For you are good, you do miracles and good. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are mighty. Yes, Lord. You do miracles and great. Hallelujah. There is no one else. There is no one like you. Father, there is no one like you. You're doing miracles so great. Mother, of God, Father, we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Be of your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just because of me, you gave up your life on the cross of Calvary, sharing your blood for me. What can I do? What can I say? That's the praise you have, I have sing it. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh,
God bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I want to hear the word of God. When we are welcome to the pulpit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The most excellency is Jesus. Is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Amen. The most excellency is Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Wherever I am now, it is by your grace. Many are dying, you know. Many are perishing, you know. Wherever I am now, it is by your grace, Papa. Thank you, eh. Thank you, eh. Thank you, eh. Jesus, thank you. Oh. Many are dying, you know. Many are perishing, you know. Wherever I am now, it is by your grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, oh. Many are dying, you know. Many are perishing, no, forever, yeah. Oh, it is by your grace, Jesus. Wherever I am now, it is by the grace of the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless us in Jesus' name. Today, the Lord wants us to listen to one message again. I wanted to preach today, but this message is keep on coming. I don't know why. God wants us to listen to this message again. And um, when we are going to listen, I'm going to stand up uh, and we will talk concerning some little things. Amen. The message is get rid of the little foxes. It's just a 28 minute message. Maybe you have been listening to this message before, but I want you to listen to it again with another kind of ear. Examine your life. We are running as we are running. Make sure that we are running. Uh, you are running the race to win. You are not running with luggages. God wants you to be free. <coughs> Many of us are running, but a lot of luggage. Today, the Lord will speak to you again, all of us. We are going to listen to this word. I pray as you are listening, God will take away all the little foxes in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to open your mind begin to say, Father, give it to me all the little foxes in my life in the name of Jesus. Speak to me through this message. Speak to me again, once again. Open my ear. Let me hear from you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, today, as we are coming to hear your message, Father, I pray, let this message transform me. Let this message, Father, open my open my understanding. Speak to me, Father, in a way that I will hear directly from you, oh God. All the little foxes in my life, my Father, I pray, reveal it then to me, Lord, as this message is being preached, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open my eyes, oh God. Open my ear, Father. Open my ear. Let me hear hear, Father, from you. Let me hear your voice. Speak to my heart today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. <coughs> Amen. The Lord will be speaking to you. Take your pen, your, your book. As you are listening to the message, the Lord will speak to you in Jesus' name. allowing us to be here at this hour. We are here because of you, Father. We are here to hear your word. We are here Father, Father, so that your word will change us. We make us perfect because you alone are perfect, O oh God. Holy Spirit of God, come in our midst and speak to us. Speak to us. Speak your word, Father. And we will hear and obey you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen, my sister. 
God bless you all in Jesus' name. The title of our message today is Get Rid of the Little Foxes. Get rid of the little foxes. Amen. The, the Bible reading is in Song of Solomon, Solomon chapter 2, verse 15. Songs of Solomon chapter 2, verse 15. Now read. Take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vine, for our vines have tender graves. Hallelujah. Take us the little foxes. Take away from us those foxes. Solomon was a wise man of earth. God gave him, gave him a great wisdom. But this same Solomon is saying today, in this Bible verses, take away the little foxes. Take away the foxes. The little foxes that spoil the vine. For our vine have tender grip. It is something you cannot deal with. He's appealing to God, the God of heaven. Please, Father, take away. Take away those little things from us. Those little things that are here to divide the vine. What is that thing? What is that attitude in your life that is destroying your whole holiness? <laughs> what is that little thing, that little foxes, that you are so careless about it? And you are not taking it serious. What is that thing? What is that careless thing, attitude in your spiritual life that you can't, you, 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 you think it doesn't count for eternity? Those little things. Those little foxes that spoil the whole vine, that destroy the whole uh, holiness, that destroy the whole righteousness. Just that, that little things that you, just, you, you, you put aside, you say it doesn't matter. Ah, you need to get rid of them today in the name of Jesus. You need to get rid of them. There is something that you do, something that you as a virtuous woman you do that is destroying the whole thing. All your life, all your holiness, all your holiness has become a filthy hack because of that little thing that you have let inside your church. He has destroyed the whole church. The spirit of God is, 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 is not more happy because of that little thing you are letting. What is that little thing? What is, is that little thing? Let's see the attitude of Jesus Christ, you know. Uh, 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 with the, uh, uh, what is the attitude of Jesus Christ? Luke chapter 13, verse 31 to 32. Huh. Let's see how he dealt with the little foxes. Chapter 13, hallelujah, verse 31. I read in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same day, the same day, came certain of the Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out. Get thee out and depart hence, for a rod will kill thee. And he said unto them, Go ye and tell that fox, that fox, behold, I cast out evil. I do cure today and tomorrow and the third day I shall be perfect. Go and tell that fox. Jesus knew why a rod what is looking for him. Allah has been looking for Jesus since. And this was an opportunity. But he told these people, he said, go and tell that fox. I'm not going to waste my time with him. I'm not going to waste the power that I have with me. I'm not going to waste it with him. Go and tell him, I have no time. Go and tell him, I have no time to waste my anointing. He knows why Herod was longing to do. To kill him. Herod was not looking for Jesus for repentance. Many people just want to see you. Just want to see you. Ah, we want to see that sister. The way we lie, we love the way she talks, but they're not looking for you because the words that you are going to bring to them, that words of salvation. Jesus said, that is a fox before me. I'm not going to waste my time with him. I'm not going to waste my power here. Let, let me tell you, you have been praying, but God is silent. There is something in your life, and you know, that thing that you say does not matter, that little fox, those foxes, it makes Jesus is silent. Jesus said, I'm not going to waste my time here. I'm not going to 
be any miracle here. In this life, in this house, in this church, these people are not going to waste my time. Jesus, that have all the power, he could have appeared before Herod and do whatever he want to do. But he said, no, that is a fox. What is that thing that you do? It makes Jesus silence. Jesus is silent. What is that thing? What is that thing that you do that make you become like Herod? You have become an Herod today. Your the hardness of your heart, the rebellion in your heart, has pushed Jesus to say, "Get rid of that little fox." That is a fox. I've worked a lot in this thing. I've labored in this life, but she doesn't want to change. What is that thing that is stopping the power of God to move in your life? Those foxes in your life, you must get rid of them. That force that quenched the fire of God, that made Jesus not to move again in your church, in, your, in the midst of you, in your prayer group. God is not moving again. From today, make sure that you adopt the attitude of Jesus. Begin to know who is the fox. What are the foxes in your life? And get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. You don't have to do anything with these things in your life. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. He saw a religious. Ah, I wish he knew that that was it. He said, he, said, he began to preach to a And that same Herod killed him. Jesus saw Herod. He said, this is the one that killed uh, 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 John the Baptist. So I'm not going to do the same. It's a fox. Take off the little fox in your life. Because of that, John the Baptist, he lost, he lost his wife. He, he lost his life. He lost his life. A rod killed him. And Jesus said, no, no, no. I'm not going to waste my time on this thing. If, if he did not, not hear uh, the word of uh, John Baptist, John the Baptist, it's not my word that you hear. Take away those little foxes in your life that spoil the vine. All those little foxes in your life that spoil your whole holiness. My sister, begin to check your life. Check your life. Check your life. Check your life. That it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Uh, tomorrow, after this, after this, you go in the midst of a, a sister told me that she went in the midst of children of God. And she lived, she saw somebody, you know. Then she said, Why are you doing this? Let me tell you. They know righteous churches. When they come in your midst, they want to see a difference. If you're a pastor, you say, no, it doesn't matter. She's just a newborn baby. Let us leave her, you know, with time. God will speak to her too. What are you doing? Are you not there to correct people? Are you not going to tell them the little foxes they have in their life? Tell them to take away the little foxes. Those things that they say that it doesn't matter. Tell them to take it away. Amen. Psalm 80, 89, verse 41. The book of Psalm 89, verse 41. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. All that pass by, by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbor. You are a danger. The fox are dangerous. They are dangerous. When they pass away, they spoil everything. They will spoil the holiness. They will spoil your righteousness. They will spoil the truth of God. Those are foxes. Before you allow them to enter your house, you must go and pray first. Have you prayed to allow that man to enter your house? Have you prayed to allow that man to, to share the, the same business with you? You are a man of God. God is the one that gave you this, this, this business. God is the one that opened this business, business for you. Now you allow this man, you allow this woman to come and, and take position. Have you prayed? Have you prayed? No, you have not prayed. You have not prayed, my sister. Even the good Samaritan, when he saw, you know, it's good to be a good Samaritan. When he saw that, that person on the road, he took him to a place, a safer place. He said, take care of him. I will pay. I will pay. He did not take him in the house. 
Take him somewhere that they will take good care of him. By the time you begin to know him, don't take him in your house. Maybe he's there to rape your daughter. Maybe he's there to rape your son. Maybe he's there to destroy that ministry. Maybe he's there to destroy your, your, your company. Maybe he's there to do something. Those things you say, it doesn't matter. He has not changed, you know. We should not judge. With time, he will change. Take away those little foxes. The same thing for people that are looking for a husband. You are looking for a wife. You know that the wife is like that already. There is nothing that can change that woman. You say, no, don't worry, I will change you. Those little thoughts that you neglect, they are going to destroy you. They are going to destroy you. Oh, it's just a dream. When God opened my eyes, he said, be careful. This kind of people, just be careful. I say, no, I put it aside. Now I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson, my sister. I will check. Wisdom is, is required. If you want to succeed in life, Solomon asked wisdom to go. He said, God, give me wisdom. So I may do this, I may do this, I may do this. You need the wisdom of God, my sister, for you to, 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 to stand firm in this righteousness, this holiness and truth. You need the wisdom of God so that you, you, you will be able to identify all the little foxes in your life. Hallelujah. Those little foxes. Those little foxes in your life. Get rid of them. Get rid of them today. Hallelujah. They did not ask God, what, should I take this person in? Should I work with this person? Someone come to you and say, oh, my sister, God has revealed to me. You should be my prayer, prayer partner. Oh, let us pray. You don't know why the person is praying with you. The person is praying with you because he wants that thing that you, you don't know. He's not praying with you because you, you know your heart, but you don't know his heart. You know your intention, but you don't know his intention. Those little foxes that are there to destroy you, that are there to destroy your ministry, that are there to destroy your marriage, that are there to destroy your company, that are going to destroy your holiness, to destroy your righteousness, to destroy your truth. Get rid of them. Don't waste your time with them. Hallelujah. Get rid of them. That is why we say in this ministry, by the grace of God, I even told the people that before you pay tight in this ministry, make sure that your life is right with God. We want to know who you are. Call us. Let us know. Don't just go. If you go and, the, and pay them, I don't want to do like other people. Don't compare me with other people because I saw it with my eyes. The Lord said I should check your life. You go and pay the tight without calling me, without letting us know that I, want, I don't want to know how much you pay. Just say, Sister Claire. We are going to do a way that in the website, everything, you just go and pay your tithe. But before you go and pay your tithe, nobody wants to know how much you pay. Call us. We want to know you, my sister. I want to know you. I want to know you before you pay. If you go and pay the money in the, the, the tithe without letting us know, your blood is on your hand. I'm telling you the truth. Go and pay in another ministry where nobody will ask you. But as far as God is concerned in this ministry, you must pay us. It's better we become, we, 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 we are poor than to be rich and go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I saw it. I saw it. I saw my name was not in the book of life because I took money for somebody that was not meant to, to I, 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 you know. If you know that your life is not right for with God and you want to pay your tithe, call me. Say, Sister Claire, this thing, is it right? Should I pay my tithe? Let me know. Don't just go and say that. Let God show you. Come to me. I will ask you questions. I want to know you. I want to know how you are progressing. Yes. If you go to a church, God will lead me. I will know you. If you pay your tithes and you don't tell me, God will expose you. He will expose you. Yes. That is it. Holiness, righteousness, and truth. The Lord will help us as we get to heaven in the name of Jesus. They say, don't say after all. God, God understand. God will understand. It's just a small matter. I will, I will, you know, I will let him stay in this house. I will, he will take up my business just for two weeks. Eh? Or uh, this is just a new job. It's just a new job. After all, the, even if they don't allow to, they don't allow people to wear to wear trousers, to, to wear skirts. You know, we just work there, work there for one month, for two months, and then after three months, I will gather the money, then I will look for a better job. Those little foxes, let me tell you, it will turn against you. Because why? Your neighbor knows that you are a child of God. Do you remember that day you were preaching to your neighbor and you told them that God does not look, uh, love those things? One day, they will pass through your working place. They will say, ah, is it not that sister? Is it not that woman that said that we should not wear this? Hey, hey. That's why I never believe these people. Don't become a scandal to Jesus. Don't become a scandal to the cross. Don't become a betrayer of Jesus. Don't become a Judah Iscariot in your wicked place. Your, 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 uh, your, um, where you are walking. Don't become a Judah Iscariot there. You are eating with Jesus. You are taking only communion with Jesus. But you know that your life is not confirmed with God. You know that there is something that little force. You have not got rid of it. I pity you. If you don't change. If you don't take 
of God. I'm telling always tell you that you will give account to God because we all go give account to God. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. The book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Hallelujah. Get rid of them, my sister. Even me that I'm talking to you like this. Huh? I'm taking up all the little forces around me because now I know the truth. Those forces that spoil the vine. Let's read. Philippians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and then deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. Uh -huh. Those people that are coming with philosophy, they have sweet mouths. Those are little, those are little foxes. When you look at them, they will, they will bring Bible to you. They will bring good Bible verses. They will speak with philosophy, with sweet mouths. But inside, they are foxes. They are little foxes. And you need to get rid of them. You don't need them. You don't need them, my sister. One of them called me and said, I am a child of God. I want to come in Ireland and sit down with you there and speak concerning this and this and that. God has not sent you. One of them said, I need to come to Ireland. God said that I should give you a month of money. Me and my wife, we have gathered a big money to give to you. I said, God did not send you. Then they, it took to a problem. What do you think you are? Is it only you that see Jesus? Is it only you that talk about God? Let me tell you, you are backslided. You are not mommy God. We are praying for you and your children. I said, thank you. I don't want your money. I don't want your money. Don't come and pollute me. And it's after the Lord opened my eyes. These are the people that say that we should not pay tight. These are the people that say that we should not gather like this. We should gather in the house. We should not gather in the, uh, in the, the big, big uh, building. These are the people that say that a woman should not preach. Hey, if I did not pray, I will be today. I will be today like this because of money. They use money. They use philosophy. They use good words. They will give you a big job in the, in the, in the church. That's why when I gave my life to Jesus, don't give me any uh, 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 position. They give me position and say, no, I'm, I'm not here to look for position. Let me find Jesus. Let me be reassured that my heaven is sure before I start walking here. They knew me. They are looking for a way to get you so that you will be tight like this. Those little forces. Those little forces you allow in your life. One day they will turn against you. They will turn against you and fight you because they already know you. They know how you react. They know you how you sit down like this. They know that every night when you sleep, you snow. They know you. You need to say, where is that day sleeping? She's snoring. Yeah, those little forces. They are not coming to help you. They are coming to destroy you. They are coming to cheer your kingdom apart. They are coming to cheer your life apart. They are coming to put this, this other little forces. Get rid of them. Get rid of them today. Hallelujah. Get rid of them. I pray that the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus during your race to heaven, before you get to heaven. You will have, you will say, yes, I've made it. I've fight the good fight. I've been there. I've never gone left nor right. My sister, I am telling you, the Lord will protect us. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 63 verse 8, trust in him at all times. God will destroy all those little foxes. If today you open your mouth and begin to say, Jesus, take off them. Jesus, I know. Today, I am tired. I've, you have opened my eyes. Since I've been, I've been saying, tomorrow, 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 but today, Jesus, take care of me. Remove all these things. That This thing I've destroyed in my life. This little force has destroyed my life. Father, take them away. Take them away. A little foolishness. Oh, my sister. So you are taking it serious. I thought it was a joke. Oh, it was just a joke. And you are taking it serious. A joke? When you were saying, you don't know that you were lying. Let me tell you, it might be a joke for you, but in heaven, it is a lie. It is a lie. And you, you, if you don't repent that lie, you will give account of it, of it. You will give account of every word that you speak here on earth. Uh -huh. My sister, be careful. In your church, you say, oh, after all, you understand. She's just a baby, my baby. You put trust out to your baby, your little girl. You say, oh, she's just a baby. It's cold. Why don't you wear Gaza? You are wearing Gaza to your little baby. And you're the pastor. You are saying it doesn't talk. You don't talk. Any virtuous woman, where you go, if you see somebody like this, talk to them. I'm telling you, a virtuous woman, no? a virtuous woman, you represent Jesus Christ. Don't keep your mouth shut. When you write, wherever you go, tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. A sister in Christ, you are still wearing Gaza to your daughter, and you're saying that you are going to heaven. And you are saying that you are you are you are living in holiness. Ah, you are digging your own grave. 
That little daughter that you are spoiling the destiny, you will give account to him. Those little folks that you are this, you are you are piling up, you are piling up. They will turn against you on the day of judgment. They will turn against you on the day of judgment. Today the Lord is speaking to you. Get rid of all those little foxes. Those little foxes. Begin to check your life. Amen. Begin to check your life. Check your life. See how many times, how many years you have allowed those little foxes. But your life is not satisfied. You know that there is something. There is a barrier. Before you and God, let that barrier be broken today in the name of Jesus. 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 Let's read all together Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Amen. All together, let's read Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Praise the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Amen. The, the centurion answered and said, Let's read together. The centurion, the centurion answered and said, Lord, Lord, I am not going to be Hallelujah. Amen. Today you are going to tell God speak the word. Mm -hmm. But before you pray, you are going to take that decision. To take away, you are going to tell God, oh God, take away the little foxes. Away from my life. Those little things that I was neglecting. Lord, today, as you speak, you speak your word. Father, I'm ready in the name of Jesus. And after saying that something that wonderful is going to happen to your life. And I'm going to pray for you. Now begin to talk to God. Open your mouth. Rise up and begin to talk Open to God. Open your mouth. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Hallelujah. Begin to talk to God. Father, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Thank God. All the danger that you had in your life because of the decision. All the problem, the trouble that the little folks brought into your life. You went to see the first prophet. First prophet. You allowed them to pray over you. You allowed them to give you this. This medicine, he said, bury it in your house. Keep it under your bed. Do this. You are not them. You are not these people to come and destroy your ministry. You are not them to bring the trouble in your life. Now you say, Jesus, I am ready. Destroy this power. Destroy these things in my life. Destroy those things that they throw. All those things that the little forces are brought into my life. Take away now. Take away Jesus. Take away all the causes because of the little forces. All the things that they've done in my life. Destroy my life because of this. Because of this. Oh Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh my Lord, I'm coming to you now. Forgive me.
is better than sacrifice. This is the Lord saying in his words. I don't want us to be like I don't want us to be like these people that will promise God these children that will promise God they will, they won't do it. I want us to be peculiar people. Peculiar people. In this year, 2015, we promised God, we told God that, Father, we are not just saying it, we are going, we mean it. This year is a year of practical holiness. I'm standing before the altar. If I've maybe offended somebody that is listening to me here unknowingly please forgive me hallelujah 
<laughs> and if you have noticed anything mm -hmm. that we are doing in this ministry that you think that is a is a fox feel free to let us know maybe you 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 too you can think it's a force you don't know it's the will of god too we need to make sure that we are running this race and we are not going to miss it in jesus name we are not going to lose it in the name of jesus we are not here to please any man we are here to to make heaven i don't know about you me i want to make heaven anything that will make me to lose ah hey my sister i don't know time is not more on our side our lord jesus christ is coming very soon he's coming very 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 soon before you see ha huh, even if you don't see rapture the day of your death it is your rapture day. We can be talking like that. And then somebody just collapse. That's the end of the story. Eternity begins. Eternity begins that day your heart stops beating. Death does not choose anybody. Death does not choose your, your title, your the way you no 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 dead come it is your hour it is your hour whether you are young whether you are old i want us to look this way why are we here on earth look you as if you are the only one here on earth like don't forget about me forget about everybody it is between you and god the purpose <coughs> of God in your life. Are you fulfilling it? How are you doing the things of God? How are you connected with God? Is it going closer or, you know? How is it? Are you growing? This is February now. Have you bear good fruit? Have you seen any change? The woman you used to be last year. The woman you used to be last year. This year, 2015, has that woman changed? Can people see the difference? My sister, it is time now. The Bible says that the will of God, it is our sanctification. I will always remind you, this year is practical holiness. Don't be carried away. Don't be carried away. I know the grace of God is upon your life, but don't take the grace of God for granted. I was telling somebody today, I say, ah, the problem with us Christians is that we forget that God has given us a new garment, and that new garment must be kept clean. If I give you a cloth, you don't take off that cloth. I will not give you any cloth again. Jesus, when he gives you something, he will give you a perfect gift. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. When you repent, God will forgive you totally. He will take away totally. Now, it will clothe you with new garment and expect that garment to remain clean. <laughs> Many of us, the garment has been is with spot. The worst thing is that you don't even know your spot. That's the worst thing. You don't know your spot. That's why you must pray, Father, those wolf, those the foxes in my life, those little foxes, I mean little foxes, so not big ones. Not the big, big, those little things that you neglect. Please try to make the, the, 
take your life again from the morning what did you do from the morning to the evening number one my sister the way you start your day make sure that you set up you set up that one if you have not deal with that issue it is very important now the way you start your day to the end make a program that's why I introduced the 15 15 minutes. I see some sister don't want it. It is those a uh, to tell you that you must have personal relationship with God. Some people call me, release me, release me from the 15 minutes. I release you. But that does not push you not to be prayerful, not to spend time with God. I show you. You must pray at least two hours, 40 minutes a day. If you are paying tight for your uh, 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 um, outcome, income, how many times your time? 24 hours a day. God is giving you 24 hours a day. And you cannot spend, pay the tight of that day. Now, if you are praying with a group, <coughs> it's one hour. You are praying a day, you pray with a group with one hour. That's very good. You have another one hour, 40 minutes. And you pray with another group again, one hour. The 40 minutes you pray with your husband, your children. Now, extra minute. Please, I want us to have. Some people say, ah, it doesn't matter. They don't pay. I did not say that if you don't pay two hours, 40 minutes. But we are on the safe place. Hallelujah. Let's be in the safer place. The, remember, the parable of the wife, the, the, the wise virgin. In case on that day they say, Are you be, how many hours have you been praying? I don't want you to be on that. Please, we must increase in our prayer. That's why now, so a group can be praying, you are there as if you are not there. We are going to make a way now. Some people don't have internet. I really thank God for one sister. <coughs> I've been looking for this way, I don't know how you do it. She, she just gave the name. E, 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 e. I got it. I did my research and I have it. Now, go to meetings. Some people complain there's no internet. We don't have internet. I cannot connect. There's a way you can connect now. Because I noticed that with that internet, even if you use phone, you cannot connect. Now, there's a way that. If you have landline, you can have landline without internet. And the phone, there's a free number to call. You call that free number, you just get the access code. You have our access code, you join the prayer. So we are going to do it when we do our program here. You can join on the phone. But unfortunately, it's just in Europe, Canada, you know, Australia, USA. For instance, USA, many sisters, they don't, this internet connection, they are not too much, too much on go to meeting. They, they deal with phone conference. So we are going to start it. Why some, some of us are on go to meeting, the phone will be there. Some will be connecting with phones. Those that don't have time, go on internet, the phone will just be there. Even if you are not praying, make sure that, I want us to make a way that when a group is praying, put the phone, be listening to the group. You don't have to be there physically. Hmm? Or you come to go to meeting when the group is playing you off your mic, but you are praying. You are praying with them. Even if you are not praying, that you are listening. It's entering your spirit. As they are praying, you are cooking. It's entering your spirit. Hallelujah. <coughs> Our spirit, the inner man, needs food, spiritual food. After eating food, you need water. Prayer and the word of God, it goes together. Hallelujah. That's what I want to tell us today. Another one is um, <coughs> our conference. My sister, I want us, I want to remind us to this. This ministry is not my own. I've repented of saying this. Since the day I saw what the Lord revealed to me. I don't, this ministry is not my ministry. God has just given me assignment. 
I'm doing my work. Tomorrow the Lord can decide anything. This work is for God. Jesus is sitting in, on his throne and he wants to see a difference here on earth. We are the God loves us so much, the virtuous women. Ha! Huh. Sister, do you know how long the Lord Jesus Christ was trying to see, trying to because only some part of the areas that you can see some godly women. But today, all over the Lord is gathering us from all the four corners of the earth. This gathering is the Holy Spirit. This ministry, it is, it is a global ministry for women, all of us. Mm -hmm. This ministry is for women. Men are invited. If they come, they are invited. Men are coming. Women, they, we are married. We have our, our children. But it's most women. Even the leaders are women. A man can come. He has to be the Holy Spirit that have appointed that man for a specific. I don't know how God will do it. But the, the main thing are women. Many people don't understand this ministry. I want to explain to us again. The virtuous women in Christ, it is a ministry for all the women that have changed. Inwardly, outwardly. Whether you belong to any, any ministry, any church, this one, I don't know how to call it, or I call it ministry, if I have a better word to put it. Oh, it is a body of all the virtuous women. All those that fear God, that worship God inwardly, outwardly. But now God is selecting among us women. Selecting women that will stand to make sure that this ministry stand in every, 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 every department all over the world. God Himself will select, will select women that before the foundation, he prepared them for this work. These women, if it's not virtuous women, they cannot be, they cannot be, they have to do something. These are the women that God himself will select. And these women, all together, we are going to work for this ministry to stand until the Lord Jesus come or he take us home. Even when he take us home, the work will continue. Because this work is not the work of Claire and Don Atomo. I repent for that. Hallelujah. It's just the ministry of Jesus that he took, he gave it to me. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's just like somebody renting a house. <coughs> and you are just renting for contract. Contract for 10 years, contract for 5 years, contract for 2 years. But the owner of the house, the owner of the house is the owner of the house. It is not you who is renting. So make sure that as you are in this ministry, you are not working for me, you are working for the Lord Jesus. If Jesus, this, let's say if Jesus come today, when they call my name, I will appear before the throne of God. Claire Andun, born in 1976, 11 July. Okay. You were given assignment from the day so, 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 Yes, you have been faithful. Now, the Lord look upon the earth and the Lord sent his daughter to walk with you so that the work of God can move on. Yes, Lord. What have you done? How <coughs> were you faithful? Your work was to do this. They would check, 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 check. 
Praise the Lord. Faithful. Yes. Okay. On so 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 day, I sent my servant so 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 so. And I led you to appoint her. What happened? Oh Lord, I don't know. Why did you allow pride? And th that is how they are going to judge us. <laughs> Equal before God. When you finish, the other one comes. Call the name. On that day, everything you did on earth will follow you. Your title, your this, 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 or put it as, in fact, the day you die, it, it, it go with it. Everything go with it. Hell fire is not far from you. Heaven is not far from you. Where you are the both, you are a member in the body of Christ. You must know your function. <coughs> Praise the Lord. You must know your function. You see my body? <coughs> you see? From my head to two. Every member has a function. Now, all of us represent the body of Christ. What is your work? Tell me. Tell me. What is your work in the body of Christ? You must know. And wherever God puts you, if you are faithful, my sister, I am telling you, great is your reward. That little thing that you are doing. Don't envy me, oh. Because Sister Claire is in this position. You understand? Don't envy me. Remember the parable of the talents. Do what you have to do in the work of God. So this ministry is for all of us, the women. Ah, enough! Satan has been destroying women. If the Lord opened your eyes, you see how Jesus was crying. God was waiting for this generation so that we, the women, we can we say no to Satan. I was talking with Brother Samson Ju <coughs> two or three days. He said, eh, sister, girl, I never knew this. This is how this ministry is. God opened my eyes. Hey! He began to explain to me, I laughed. He said, hey, that's why Satan, he said, he saw Satan, the, the kingdom of the uh, 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 darkness, how they hated, they avowed to destroy this ministry. This is the hope of God for the women. They want to silence us to make sure that there is nothing called virtuous women. He wants us, Satan wants us to go back the way we were. Let me explain. You have changed your physically, spiritually, uh, 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 everything. He wants us to go and sit down one place and let him walk his walk. You can leave your holiness there, but don't disturb. The problem is that we, the virtuous women, he sees that we want to do something great. He wants to stop us. We are not the first women to change. Some women changed before. Satan never disturbed them. But this ministry, <laughs> the way we are gathering like this, small, small women, the fire of God is increasing. And in the thing we expand, a man told me yesterday, he said, hey, I don't know why, why, what women are hiding behind makeup. Look at, look at uh, beauty. Look at beauty, yes. That's why when I pose, I pose very well like this. For them to see the beauty of God. Yes, my sister. Let them see the handy work of God. Let them see what Jesus Christ can do. Amen. Yes. We are beautifully made. We are wonderfully made. So look at the beauty of Amen. God from head to toe. No, chuck, chuck, chuck. No, no, chuck, 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 chuck. We don't need, we don't need, we don't need a powder. The powder will come and remove your beauty. Now, the women are opening their eyes. Satan 
knows that this, this group of women, we must silence them. Now, this is our first convention. Any virtuous women, please, those that are listening to me live, those that are listening to me live, if you belong to this movement, the virtuous women in Christ, if you know you have been transformed, we need to stand, raise the banner of our Lord Jesus Christ, the banner of holiness, mm. the banner of righteousness. Ah, when I was posing, the women opened their window. I was saying, yes, you people, open the window, look very well. Look a virtuous woman, that is how we're supposed to be. Before, if somebody don't put makeup, you are ugly. You don't put a uh, earrings, you are ugly. You don't put a uh, uh, pitaza, you are ugly. God is opening the eyes of people to see the true beauty on a woman. See how Satan have destroyed women outside today. Yeah. Also, women look like a trash, <laughs> like 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 demons. Mm. They look like I don't know. I cry. Our true beauty, we have we have covered it from the hair to the two. That's why I was saying that even somebody say Kenya women, yeah, they dress well. They dress well, but the hair is palm. Now I'm talking to us women here. Yeah, this ministry is for the women. Men, they will be coming. They come for the convention. But they know it's women. The leaders of this ministry, <coughs> most of them are going to be women. Now, when we, we are growing, in every, every, every country, we must have a place. It's going to be virtuous women in Christ. Inside Tapit is Tapita Center. Inside we have the boutique. Inside we have the Shiloh. The Shiloh is where the women, just like what is happening now in Go to Meeting, all the women in that area come. They will be praying. They will be praying. And while they are praying, they come and listen to the wo word of God. A woman will be in charge there. If there is no woman, maybe a brother. Now, the, the meeting there will depend. Those people that are full time, that's why I insist, so that those the, be, uh, the women that belong to other ministries will not see themselves like cast away. We are all virtuous women. Please, if a virtuous woman come in your area and you know that she belongs to another church, receive her as your sister. Hallelujah. The only difference is that she will not be doing Sunday fellowship with us. Because she has her own ministry. She has her own church. Praise the Lord. But as she come to pray with us, receive her as your sister. So that Shiloh virtual woman inside the, the center, we are going to be praying and we are going to share the word of God. We are going to have our own Sunday <coughs> service just like now. Amen. So this is different like a church. It's different to a church. The more, I don't know if God is opening your eyes. You are seeing the it's taking shape. Praise the Lord. This television, the way I am standing here, everything is going to take shape. By the time we have uh, exact money, we are going to put some brothers that will be dealing with this. Only for the television. Virtuous women in class television is another thing different. We are going to be playing our program, our messages. We are going to play other minister messages. All the holiness preacher. We know Apostle e Emmanuel, Pastor Olubemba, Holiness Revival. We know other ministers are coming. We'll be gathering that message. We'll play 24 hours in our television. It's going to be a television that people will watch in Africa, they will watch in Europe, they will watch everywhere. But the, the television is called Virtuous Women in Car Division. When we have our live program, it is going to be through that television everywhere. 
we are having our live program through the television but some brother will be there behind to be working 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 they go to meeting with sis they go to meeting with sis mm. hallelujah he will cease why because we want to start our physical program physical physical program we cannot continue if we want to have we, we want to gain the whole world we cannot continue like this and go to meeting praise the lord so we need to work hard come to this conference you are going to know more about the vision I want you to enter to allow this this vision to enter you because to grab you in fact this is part of you because this is the hope of Christ I told you that it's through us that all this idea of woman without makeup woman with this is the people will begin to understand and many people are understanding, even unbelievers. Their eyes are opening because of this ministry. Last Sunday of the month is something that we should not neglect. It is Virtuous Women in Christ Outreach. We go out, we have only one hour program. <coughs> when we are starting our physical uh, 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 programs, last sunday don't neglect it you will only gather for one hour program if it's to put the message you put the message or somebody will be there to preach you preach and then after that one hour you go outside to share the tracks i want to talk about the tracks the virtuous women in christ tracks is very expensive very very expensive and i i saw it's very difficult for other people to even print it out because now, Sister Olubumi is here. She's going to explain to us something that she did. If she has a sample, I don't know if she has a sample. Put on your camera. Uh, if you have a sample, man, you can look for it and show it to us. Because we want to make sure that the virtuous men in Christ tracks is available for everybody. Because if we have to order the way we are doing like that, it's too costly and we don't have that money. Like now, somebody will order. I will give him two, three. Why is it like that? <coughs> what can you do with two tracks? Three tracks? And today, supposed to do a, be a day that we are out. Me, myself, when I hear somebody say, order, I want, I'm counting of the one remaining. You understand? It should not be like that. <coughs> so we have a plan. Sister Lubi means, if you are here, put on your camera. I want you to explain to other sisters. <laughs> Sister Lubumi, are you there? Sister Lubumi. Ma, are you there? Put on your camera. You can explain to us. Yes, ma, I'm there. Put on your camera. <coughs> okay, ma. Come the tracks. We must have the tracks. Yes, ma. Yes. Put on your camera. Hallelujah, put on your camera now. Okay, ma. Yeah, what I did was that, can everybody see me? Uh, yeah. Okay, give mm -hmm. me, I don't have the, the uh, photocopy anymore. I shared everything out yesterday. I didn't even know I shared the last copy as well. So what I did was uh, to make photocopy I removed the pin inside. You can see that it's loose now. So what I did was to make photocopy like this, if you stand on A4 paper, you only need to cut what is on the top and what is below. That's all. It's a pity I don't have the photocopy here anymore because uh, yesterday as I was sharing, people were collecting. And as people were collecting, they kept asking me that where is the, the church, you know? They were asking me that where is the location, they want to, that they want to come, that where is it? And uh, in summer, you know, I, I, I reason with what Mommy Claire is saying now. It's just somehow that uh, they are looking for the address. The woman was just telling me, Ma, where is the address? How can we locate this place? 
and uh, I was trying to find my words. So what you can do is just a photocopy. To photocopy this in Nigeria is just 30 naira. The whole of everything like this is just 30 naira. And what I did was to photocopy uh, 30, I made 30 copies. That's 900 naira, which I shared with people. So maybe next time, if we are talking, I'm going to come up with a photocopy and show every one of us. So what you can do, you photocopy everything, just losing the paper, losing it like this, you photocopy it front and back. Then for the page in front, let them uh, uh, lighten it so that mommy class photo will come out white and black, quite all right, but our face will not be dark. And then the front cover too will not be dark. So that is just uh, the only thing we can do for now so that the one you can go around. And uh, for everybody I was sharing it with, they were surprised when they saw it. They were like, wow, what? You know, and yesterday it was an interrogation, interrogation, interrogation. Some were convinced. But the point is, where do we gather them? You know, they need a place to come to. So, may the Lord help us in Jesus' name. You, you, that's, you see, virtuous women, you see, we cannot say, oh, we are virtuous women, we are virtuous women, we are virtuous women, and we are not doing anything. We are not doing anything. I am a virtuous woman, I am a virtuous woman, I am a virtuous woman. Some people are just coming here for them, oh, no. like they say, and I, 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 I just even go to pray. Let me go to pray there. But the vision, they have not, the vision have not entered them. Hey, my sister, if you know who you were, when you get to heaven, then you will know. A virtuous woman, hi. You say, oh God, bring me back now, bring me back on earth. I will go and say, no, your time has come. You will stay here in heaven. Your reward is limited. Please, my sister. You see, that back, <coughs> the way she say it, <coughs> if they can photocopy, made where, where, sister, how can we do for the my picture to come out? They see the difference. You know, when it's black and white. Yes. For the picture, except, except if uh, you're going to make the front cover to be colored. Can we make? You're going to make the front cover to be colored. Uh -huh. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it. When I try it, I'll uh, come up again to show what I'm going to do. Just that the colored one can be expensive, you know. But it's just the front page, just the, the front page. Just, just that page. Uh, just that page. Yeah, just that page alone. The front. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Now, show me the thing. So, how do you remove it? You remove. Okay. You remove the pin inside. Remove the pin inside. So, it's going to be like this. On the photocopier, it to be like this. You put it like this. You know, this is the front page. So, you put it on. Let's assume this is the photocopier. So you put it on the photocopier like this. You turn it and make it on the other side. You understand? So the A4 paper will take this and this. Then you do the same thing for this and this. And the same thing for this and this. In Nigeria, is a 10 naira per leaf. You know, for you to do this page and this page, to be on one A4 paper sheet is just 10 naira. So, and you have just three leaves. So that's 30 naira. And when you are through, you arrange it. What I did was just to like number it. Just a small, I wrote a small number down so that I can see the, the pages. Then I arrange it myself. I use a stapler to pin it in the middle, back. Yeah. You understand? So after pinning it, then you use your scissors because it's A4 paper and this, this, uh, this uh, book, is smaller than A4 paper. I don't have the A4 sheet here. Yeah, the, the, the A4 sheet paper. is big. You just then you use the scissors to cut it. You use the scissors to cut it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very yes. good. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this is what we have to do. Like today is a day of that we must go out. Uh, we, are we are not going out because there is no tracks. There is no tracks. Please, my sister. Yeah, in Europe we can do we can do 
we can do color one. It's cheap. Just remove the pin. You remove the pin, pin, pin. Then you print it back, back, front, back, front, back. Then you you put it, you put them together again, and you share. You share. My sister, if we can do this. Now, that area where there is address, let every leader, like Italian group, we put the name, we put my number, and we put the second number for the leader there. So the leader can come. Says, where we gather, call our leader. That's why we need to be gathering. We need to be gathering. We must not wait until we get the money. We, we build our own place for, for virtuous women. Tapita Center. It's going to be called Virtuous Women Tapita Center. But inside is everything. The boutique, the shiloh, where we gather, we pray. Hallelujah. Why Virtuous Women in Christ? Tapita Center. Why not Virtuous Women in Christ? <coughs> As I said, it is not a church. The ministry is not church like no. This ministry is to gather all the women, make sure that we go to heaven. But now inside the ministry, we have different different departments. We have the the ministry himself. We have uh, uh, the boutique. We have the shiloh. Now, let's say if we have our own land, and we build the center. That center. Inside we have. The tapita area. The tapita area is what you know. We have the boutique. We are <coughs> some women are coming. They don't close to where we are going to be giving them. Some of them we can give them five pounds. In Africa, it's going to be different. Maybe it's going to be I don't know. Uh, uh, some of them will be free. You understand? Some of them very very cheap to make sure that the, the tapita run in men. We cannot just give them uh, give them used thing. We can or, or even say, okay, that money that buying cheap, we take it, we buy clothes for them, for them to wear a good cloth. Yes. So inside we have that area. Inside we have the area of prayer, the shiloh. What we are doing here, this prayer is coming. This. So we are going to be dividing. Like let's say in Lagos, we have virtuous women in that center there, the shiloh group. Lagos, Lagos is big. We have first tag. We have this one. We have this one. Some people in first tag will say that we don't have time. I Me, mean, I'm, I'm available so 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 time. I'm available so 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 time. Then it's okay. For those that are available so 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 hour, you come in the center to come and pray. For those that are available so 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 hour, we come in the center to come and pray. Or as we are growing. We can open different, different, different centers as the Lord give us more money. We open different, 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 different. After open the headquarters himself, we open different, 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 different. But let us start somewhere. Let us start somewhere. <coughs> Since we don't have any place, we can start in hotel. We can be gathering. We say, okay. Since the hotel, we cannot rent <laughs> hotel. <coughs> Let's start gathering maybe once a month. We g even if you are two, please. Look at we are sharing the tracks and what is the out outcome of out out outcome of it? People want to know. You will not be telling go to go to meet it. Go to what is, where is go to go to meet it? Is it a place? Not everybody has a, a, a internet. We cannot go to meet it. No 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 no. Go to meet it is because we don't we, we, we are still growing, but we cannot continue like that. Let us have a place. We say okay, we gather once a month in this hotel. We are only two or three. For now, let us start with the hotel. Let us start somewhere. We move from hotel, and little bit will have a, definitely God will give us a place. Or you say you don't want hotel, we want to be renting a place. And it's not me that I have to say it. If truly you know you are a virtuous man, don't be only waiting on me. You and your group, sit down. Say, let us do something for Jesus. Let us do something for Jesus to be happy. Let us expand. Let this work expand. We are sharing the tracks. People will change and go away. Go to meeting. Are we not ashamed, my sister? What are we going to tell Jesus? 
Huh? No. This has to change. This has to change. Anyway, come for the convention. We are going to speak about it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every uh, make sure that you photocopy this. Take a sample, only one. This one we have here. We are spending money too much on, on, on the track. And the ministry need money. We cannot be spending so, so, so big, big amount on the no. You take one. You take the, the cover of the inside, photocopy. You can photocopy in color. Then you, you add or all of them, photocopy them in color. That is what you are doing for God and go and share. This is a warning. Apart from it, we are going to do our own tracks too. The same thing is going to be free. Praise the Lord. Let us make it free. I don't want money to separate us from the presence of God because of money. We Let us use, I really thank God for the wisdom of Sister Ol Olubumi. <coughs> yes. The tracks, virtuous women tracks. So we must have our own tracks. We can do it. If you know you can, you have you 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 know how to do this thing. Contact me. We we'll work together. Praise the Lord. You are not doing it for me. You are doing it for Jesus. Maybe that is your own. That is your own part as the as a member of the body of Christ. It is written in heaven. No, last Sunday. Oh, that I don't I don't want to say last Sunday we are doing like and I will keep it like this. After that, go and eat your eva. You will not go for for evangelism. Now you have no excuse. No excuse. Every Sunday, we go and share the tracks. All of us, including me. Take your children. You take the tracks. Today, we are having a meeting in general. But next, last Sunday, get ready. Prepare yourself. Tell your children. Hallelujah. Unless it is heavy raining, you don't have to go out. But if the weather is good, it's cold, put on your jacket, go outside, share, share, share. Let people know about this warning. It's a warning. Everybody must know. The warning from God is different from evangelism. <coughs> Let me tell you this. It's different from evangelism. This one is just the last Sunday of the month. You are going to share the trust. It's not evangelism. Just share the trust. Let people know about this warning. Share the trust. Go to church. Share the trust. Share the, the, the warning. All that day you can go evangelize. Now if somebody, you meet somebody that has not received Christ, then you introduce Christ to him. Even if the person has not given his life to Jesus, just share the trust to them. Maybe through that trust, he will give his life to Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray and, and and we are going to have our Holy Communion. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to have Holy Communion on the 14, 15, 16 August. Hallelujah. Make sure that you come. This is the time now. Book your ticket. Don't wait when it's already August. Because in August is summer time. The ticket is very expensive. Now book your ticket. Make every effort. For those that need visa, send me your address. Send me your address. By next week, I will send the invitation letter. And in, the, in your Irish embassy, I will send invitation in your embassy to make sh let them know that you are coming to ask visa. Every Irish, we are going to take time. Write to them anything they need from us. Give them. Write to them that you are coming. Everybody asking for visa. We are going to write for the uh, um, uh, embassy that you are coming. Even if you are 5, 10, 20, in that very embassy, we will have 20 letters that you are coming for this thing, for this program. So that next time when you just come, virtual women, they say, oh yeah, take your visa, go. Praise the Lord. Uh-huh. For those that are in Africa, oh, I say it again. 
unless you are a virtuous woman, we know you. We know that you are coming here. You are not going to stay here. Say, I'm not going back again. No. If you come here and say you are not going back now, me, I will call police for you. I will be the first person to call police for you. You will not recognize me again. I will go to police and say, look, I've invited the wrong person. Oh, yeah, I know where she is. Many people are from Africa. I want invitation. I want invitation. I want invitation. I don't even know them. <laughs> I don't know these people. For now, oh, we don't. Yes. Unless it's the Holy Spirit leading me to invite you from Africa. I don't. We don't know. We, we can't. We don't do that. Amen. Please, all our sister virtuous women, come make your program today. We see have February, we have March, April, May, June, July. We have five months. Make all your plan with your husband. If you know that your husband don't have money, begin to put your money aside. The reservation now. Let me tell you, we are going to sleep in the hotel. In that hotel, we have our conference hall downstairs. All of us, we are sleeping in different room. One room have two beds. Another room, one bed. If you don't want to share, the room is 93 euro a day. So for three days, 93 per three. Now, if you want to share with another sister, they have room, they have two beds. It's 103. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, uh -huh. so if you know that, begin to, in your group, the leaders in your group, if three people are going four, six, put them in two, 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 two. And those two, they are going to see how they can pay because we cannot afford to pay the rent of. We cannot, my sister. We are, li we are living by faith. Amen. But when we have our own center, we don't have to go and rent uh, all this hotel. Even if it's to sleep on the floor in the church, they will be sleeping there. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. That any question before we pray? The reservation number, I will share it. I'm having a uh, meeting with the leaders. Every leader will share it. I'm going to do a YouTube. Uh, I will put the number there. Everybody will reserve. And I will put it on. It's on Facebook already. The number is there. The number is there. I think we see the number is zero. Um, plus three five three one four six eight five four zero zero. I repeat, plus three five three one four six eight five four zero zero. That is the number to call for the hotel reservation. The hotel is called Maldron Hotel in Tala. You just call, you say you are coming for the virtuous women program. August 14, 15, 16, you want to book your, your room. Book your room. Hallelujah. The free, the food, we, is, we are the one taking charge of food. Hallelujah. So just tell us what you want to eat. That one is another other part, the Lord. But all we are asking you is just the, the hotel, your hotel room, and then your, your uh, ticket book now. Hallelujah. That was all. Any question? How I want to pay for the hotel. Okay, you want to pay for the hotel. Okay. Contact your leader. I want to pay. Yes. Okay. You you have to pay for the hotel, ma. Yes, <laughs> we have you have to pay for the hotel now. Uh you people oh you come we sleep in my room in the hotel. We sleep you sleep <laughs> there in the floor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Really? Yes. <coughs> I, um, I want to talk about the plan because this this one is from God. Yes, we, we, we need this. We can do the photocopy, but we need track because to be giving people track. You know, when we do this one, photocopy, just as like Sister Lady May has said, uh, remember again the money because of uh, um, the place where we are found, how much they are going to charge us because we don't have photocopy machine. So if we do this one, we'll uh, we, we give it people, but we need track. 
constant times because sometimes ordinary days you do evangelism. Anywhere you are going, you, you have to have in your bag. You can see somebody, you know, that you share the word of God and give the person track. Okay, we allow me. Track okay. Urgent. Yeah, let us, okay. Now we are working on the magazine. The magazine itself. <laughs> What? <coughs> Sorry, we'll finish it. The tracks allow me to go and come back by May. We are going to start working on our tracks. Amen. Let us be patient a bit. We have our own tracks. Praise the Lord. Amen. Any last question? We'll collect our old friend. Amen. Any last question? Remember, every last Sunday, there's no children program. I, I saw some parents came around 2 p.m. with their children. Last Sunday of the month, we don't have any children program. We just come and have one hour program. And after that, all of us, we go outside to go and share virtuous women in Christ tracks. Now, uh, 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 warning. Now, if you want to add uh, the tracks on, on top of it, that, that's okay. Praise the Lord. Sister Grace, to you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. Um, please, uh, mommy, glory, come and collect the offering. I'm here, ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, you're coming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I was busy doing some photography because of what uh, Salubo me just taught us now. In fact, I'm blessed. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. 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 Let's raise up our offer and our title to our Lord God Almighty, who has made it possible for us to have be able to walk and to have this that He has given unto us. Starting, we thank you, Father, we glorify your name, Lord Jesus. We are ever grateful for all you have done for us. We are always grateful, Jesus. Because when we look where we are coming from, Lord Jesus, you are always good to us. Even when we were sinner, you were yet good to us. Even now, you are still good to us. That is, we don't know how to say thank you. Father, with this little talking, we are coming to say thank you. We are coming to appreciate you because you did not allow us to spend it on the hospital for any one of our family. You did not allow us to spend it for coffee. Neither did you allow us to spend it for material things that Satan has dried us for long. But we thank you for opening our eyes, oh Lord, and we are coming to say thank you out of the abundance you have given up to us. Because living and sleeping and waking up is more than abundance. It's a testimony. Because every sleep is a dead person. Because Almighty, for that reason, Lord, we say thank you. I say this little talking from us, Daddy, in the name of Jesus. As many who are not able to give, but they are willing to give to your fire. Jehovah Jireh, the God has opened heaven and shower upon the children manner. May you visit every one of us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. May you bless us, O oh God. Not only blessing, O oh Lord, that we also will be a blessing to others and to this ministry. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 My sisters, come, let's give the Lord praises for all he has done. Let's give him the praises. Hey, come let's give God praise. Praise the Lord. Come let's give God praise for the good thing He has done. No, come let's give God praise. Hey, He got it for the Lusa. It's a oh, He got it for the Lusa. He got it for the Lusa. Oh, Osa 
my sister in Jesus name. Amen. Um, now we have to share the grace. Mommy. Yes, ma. Share Mommy. the grace. Go on, ma. Go on. Yes, ma. Okay. Now, um, this week, it shall be well with all of us. Anywhere we go, our going out, our coming out, shall be well with us. All the days of our life, Almighty God will make us to be holy and righteous anywhere we are when trumpet blow, so that we'll make it in the mighty name of Jesus. I so call the family, amen. All of us with blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your spirit will never depart away from us. Go and prosper this way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For being here with us. Thank you, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The grace. The grace. The grace. The grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love. The love. The love. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. God bless all of us in Jesus' name. Shalom. 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 Sister, please Shalom. give me your address. <coughs> Amen. Pray for my camera or to walk back in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. This way. Let me, 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 let